Ben is someone who's come from the big smoke and uh, looking for his own personal sea change. Um, he uh, comes from a creative background and he's, he wants to pursue that here at Pearl Bay. He also is uh, trying to breathe new life and set up. Uh, he's bought the pup, he's, he's, he's trying to reinvigorate that. But at the beginning of the series, we find him um, he's trying to also breathe life into, into, his, into his marriage and that has failed and he's split up from his wife. And I guess uh, everything is in complete uh, disarray for him. So he's trying to pick up the pieces, decide whether he's gonna keep going, leave or stay. Uh, so he's, I guess, a confused soul. How was your boyfriend's fan? Wasn't it, Clara? That's enough, Mr. Russo. Just ignore them. Their marriage is a bit of a train wreck. But you mean the two of them? Mm-hmm. Oh. Constable Liano, if the independent witness has something to say, I'd like to hear it. Your independent witness here tried to murder a homeless man yesterday, I believe. Your Honour, if I might say one thing. My own defence. We I... refer to them as people experiencing homelessness now, Mr. Russo. And you need to address me as Your Honour. Well, how about I address you as a massive pain in the ass? Is that better, Your Honour? Your Honour, we will offer evidence to prove that the offender caused damages to the value of $10,000. Hold your horses there, Constable. I want some bloody answers. This is not the forum for your personal gripes, Mr Russo. Then where is? You tell me. Because if there was a forum, then I wouldn't have to go through all the friggin' trouble of harassing your dickhead boyfriend just so I can have a simple conversation with you. Look, I find as I do more and more acting in my life that the line between character and uh, myself becomes pretty negligible. If I, if I kind of try to be relaxed and just do my thing, then yeah, you kind of tap into the whatever is required of you and it's all inside you to, to if you could just, just let it out.